Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Shotin Race Course here on Wednesday night. It is January the 18th, 2017. Gonna look at race number three from Shotin. It's the 8.15 local post time there. Um, here in New York City, goes off 7.15 in the morning, so I might have to wake up early for this one. But it's, uh, it, it, it's a great race, this uh, third race. Um, it's the Penfold Park Handicaps Class 1 race here for horses rated 110 to 85, going for an estimated purse of $322,200. $215. We have a field of eight horses traveling the six furlongs on the all-weather surface. In Hong Kong, they call their all-weather surface dirt. The rest of the world, when you think all-weather surface, or when I think all-weather surface, I think, you know, fibers, you know, tires, rubber, not dirt. So <laughs> um, so it's pretty weird that they call their uh, all uh, their dirt course in all weather but it's a dirt course basically um you, you know it's, it's traveling 1200 meters six furlongs on this uh a dirt course and it's a great race here you have a return of two very good horses dundonald the one horse and the two horse fabulous one both those horses are going to be most likely getting bet into the ground so i'm going to try and pick away from them and find a bit of a horse that's a bit of a price here and i think i did with the seven horse um number seven who is Alma Baby. I'm going to include this horse into a TriCast or a Trifecta. I'm going to go 724. 724. Um, you know, I think Fabulous One is a great horse, but I just want a little bit of a better price, and that's what I could get with the seven horse Alma Baby. Um, he does have the uh, advantage of the 10 pound apprentice on, so he's carrying 114 pounds. Um, you know, Fabulous One's ca carrying 130 pounds, so it's, uh, you know, it's a very big weight difference there. So, um, so uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, number seven, Alma Baby, top pick here. This horse hasn't started on the dirt here in Hong Kong yet, but um, I, I think this horse should really get a good handle of it. But uh, his, his most recent recent start came September the 7th at Happy Valley. Five frongs at a Class 3 ratings, handicapped to 85 to 60. This horse won by one quarter lengths, closing up from last to really get a great run. You know, it was an all-around great victory. Is increasing the extra furlong today. I don't think that should be a problem. Um, start before it shot. In November the 12th, seven furlongs at a class one ratings, 110 to 85 handicap. Horse finished seven by three and a half lengths, was setting the pace early on, and then just got overtaken in the stretch run. Wasn't this horse's day to win, and then start before at um, October the 1st at Shot in six furlongs, at class two ratings of 180 uh, race. Horse finished well back, finished 13th by nine lengths, was up with the leaders early on, but really weakened out of it. This horse's last race was very good, um, but before that, his last victory, you have to go back to Happy Valley on the f uh, the 4th of May of 2016, going six furlongs in a, cl uh, in a Class 3, uh, ratings of 80 to 60 handicap. Horse won by three lengths and kept opening up a great victory. I think that slightly scares me. This horse's best races have come at Happy Valley. Hopefully, this horse isn't a Happy Valley specialist, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully he can run at anywhere else, but I I'm going to take my chances here. I really do not want to bet a horse that's going to get bet into the ground, and and I think if you have to have a long shot, I think this could be the long shot play, Alma Baby. So to recap my bets now for race number three from Shotin, it's the Penfold Park handicap. Gonna go with the seven horse Alma Baby. Gonna include him into a TriCast or a Trifecta wager. I'm gonna go seven two four. Seven two four. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.